Welcome to another episode of Here to Slay, my Slayer only Iron Man. On this account, I can only kill things if I've been assigned a corresponding Slayer task with them. I can buy ammo, runes, and food from shops, but no weapons or armor. All of my money and gear upgrades must come from the Slayer drops, and any of my non-combat skills can only be trained from the supplies that Slayer monsters drop for me, or from any XP lamps that I somehow manage to get my hands on. To make things more interesting and to prevent too much content from being locked from the account, I've allowed myself to do quests, but my total quest points must never pass my Slayer level. Despite having all these restrictions on my skills and my gear upgrades, I have my mind set on one goal. I want to kill the monster with the highest Slayer level requirement in the entire game. I want to kill the Alchemical Hydra. Alright, figured I'd uh, start off the episode using some Larence keys that I got in the last video. Let's see what I can get. Some rubies, rubies, white rubies. Well, maybe I'll get Dagon High Peace next time. All right, uh, I guess let's go see what my Slayer task is. Oh, nice, I got Shade's task. These guys, uh, if you kill them in the stronghold of security, they drop the Shade robes, which are pretty much just uh, slightly worse than Monk robes, but it'll be nice to get my hands on something with a bit of a prayer bonus now. Oh, wow, I got incredibly lucky with this. I only had to kill two of them, and I've already gotten both of the top and the bottoms. These guys are going to give me a decent prayer bonus. Uh, like I said earlier, I think the top gives me plus five, and the bottoms are going to give me plus four. So a total of plus nine prayer bonus is very nice compared to the plus zero that I had previously. Ooh, Hill Giants task. Hey, perfect timing. I just got some prayer bonus gear. So for the Hill Giants task, I am going to try killing Obor for the first time on this account. I haven't killed him yet. I haven't killed him on any other account except for in Trailblazer Leaks. So this is going to be a first for me. After watching a couple of guides, I figure the easiest way for me to do this is going to be to just cast Snare on uh, Obor itself and then run away while protecting protect from missiles. So he won't be able to hit me with melee and it'll his range damage will be heavily reduced. Should be fairly simple. Just freeze him in, sp in place, run away to the other side and shoot at him. All right, that's the first Obor kill. That was pretty easy. 52 nature runes. All right, that's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, it was pretty darn simple. I had to eat two pies, so this is going to be pretty easy. Going for another kill. This time I wanted to try it with melee. Just see if I can do this without using any runes. See how bad it is. Look at me just stuffing my face with all these meat pies like it's the cure to coronavirus or something. Uh, I didn't realize this until afterwards, but uh, in any any second here when I'm done, there you go. So, you see anything interesting here? You see how I'm, I'm clicking attack and just nothing's happening. You see that? You see that? The reason why is since there's a short cooldown after you eat a piece of food before you can attack again. When you eat something like meat pies that you can just eat in rapid succession, that cooldown just stacks up on top of each other and will prevent you from being able to attack for like so long. Well, uh, I think we can all agree that meat pies are not a good idea for a food source. And, uh, I think I'm gonna go back to magic. Magic was a lot easier. And that should be it. There you go. That is the last Obar kill for now. I'm out of the giant keys. 68 cosmic runes. Well, that could have been worse, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go finish up my hill giants task now. Hopefully get another key, but definitely not going to hold my breath for it. And uh, I'll see what I get after that. How do you get in there? What? There's an earth emblem stuck inside the wall. How did it even get in there? Holy crap. Look how big these boys are. Oh my lord. I don't know if I've seen a superior uh, slime before. Holy, look how big this thing is, man. Nice. I'm just on my way to go do a blue dragon's task. And uh, on my normal Iron Man, I just got a 35 second personal best at his boy using just a dragon dagger and a whip. Just using like those weapons. I got a 35 second personal best. Oh, that's, 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 I don't know, that, maybe that's not that great, but I found that to be hilarious. All right, so I got a Ice Warriors task, and I figured this is probably, like, the best time, if any, 
to uh, try and kill the Ice Queen. The only issue is this Rock Slide takes a mining level of 50. So I'm not sure how I'm uh, going to be able to mine this thing unless uh, maybe, maybe somebody else takes care of it for me. Oh, no. No, it doesn't work like that. No. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. All right, I guess I can't kill the Ice Queen then. Oh, what's that? What's this right here? The Shaman Mask. Oh, no, it reduces attack. I thought it was going to increase my magic attack. Like, it was going to be my new, like, best in slot magic mask. They cast magic with it on, so why wouldn't it give bonus to magic? Oh, that's really disappointing. I was actually, like... Kind of hoping I would get one of these. It'd be a funny little thing to use with my mage, but it's kind of useless. There you go. Task is completed. As you can see, I have 29 tasks in a row here. So my next task is going to be a decent little boost. You can also see I got 65 strength and 65 attack. What does that mean? That means that I can now enter the mother freaking Warriors Guild, man. Uh, the Warriors Guild, not only is it going to be the way for me to get my defender obviously like you know eventually get a dragon defender in the long run um but you can also buy amazing food there the only thing is i'm 74.5 combat level right now i just need a couple like strength health and like maybe just defense defense is probably the easiest way to do it but if i can just get that last like half of a combat level then i'll be able to go to konar for my 30th task and i'll get i think 90 points from completing it with her so what I'm going to do now is just do a couple of wilderness tasks to get a couple more levels. And then I'm going to hit up Kona for my first uh, task from her. Hopefully get some more Laren's keys too. Oh, did I just get a level? Did I just get a little defense level there? Level 45 defense coming on in. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. Level 75 combat now. All right, so next task, I'm going to be getting it from Konar, baby. Hopefully I don't forget. Damn it. I forgot. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I forgot I was going to go get a different task. Well, I guess I'm going to do another Wilderness Slayer task now. All right, just over here in Hosidius, or not Hosidius, in Arceus, I'm going to be getting some Arceus favor just to be able to unlock the ability to cast the reanimate spells. All right, so after looking at the wiki real quick, uh, I guess I need 60 favor in order to use the Arceus spell book. So I'm probably gonna hang out here, get my favor up to 60. And uh, actually, while I'm here in the meantime, I got the first step of my hard clue right up here. Now let's see if I can do the next step. Fairy ring. Oh, BJR is just the uh, Fisher Realm, actually. And I've already done the uh, quest, the Holy Grail quest. Yeah, I think that's the one, right? Yeah, so I've already done the Holy Grail quest, so I can go there later. Okay, that's cool. I'll definitely finish that later on. All right, I think this is the thing that I needed. Maybe? You've learned the Teleport Koran spell. Yeah, buddy. All right, so just another three levels, or I guess I could also just drink a uh, Wizard Mind Bomb. And then I'll be able to teleport right to Koran. So that'll save quite a bit of running time from Port Piscatorius. Or Piscatorius, whichever, I forget which one it is. All right, I'm just about at 60% favor, just missing like one more book and then I'll uh, pretty much have it. But uh, anyways, this is first little boost of XP here from all these guys. I'm gonna cash in on all this sweet runecrafting XP. What? Did you seriously think I was going to use those to get runecrafting XP? Konar. What's her name? Konar. Komaitan. Let's just restart. <laughs> All right. Konar. What is going to be my first task with you? Yeah. No. This is... These are not doable. These are not doable. This is... This, this, is, this is like the worst possible task I could have been given by her. Thank you. Not the best, but you know what? It, it's it's all right. It's nice and quick. Only 50 of them. Let's go do that. Uh, step number two. All right, that's the third step completed. Please, please keep it going. 
Hell's Bells. Do I have that? I don't. Where do I get that? What is that from? All right, this is from the Troll Romance Quest, which is also going to require Death Plateau and Troll Stronghold. Nope, it doesn't require either of those. If only I had realized that sooner. So after kind of wasting two quest points on the Death Plateau quest and then the Troll Stronghold quest, I then realized how easy it would have been to just go get the song. To unlock Hell's Bells, all you gotta do is just come here on the map in Relica, enter this little cave, just run south here through this passageway to the other opening, and there you go, Hell's Bells music track is unlocked. I then realized I had the crafting level to make some games necklaces, so I started cutting up all the sapphires that I got from my Slayer tasks, but uh, soon found out that my stock of gold bars was quite low, so I just made a few of them for the time being. Although I messed up yet again and may have wasted some precious quest points, I think that wrapping up this episode with the fact that I made my first enchanted jewelry and that I gained access to the Warrior's Guild is enough to satisfy me. I mean, only 9 coins for a 16 HP healing food with no negative side effects? I have a feeling you'll be seeing these uh, cheese potatoes in my inventory pretty much from now on. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Remember to like and subscribe if you did. And uh, let me know in the comments if you prefer having the episodes a bit shorter like this one compared to the last uh, few that I made being over 20 minutes or so. Again, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, baby, another casket. Another hard casket. What is it going to be? What the heck is that?